In 2013, two friends, two princes of awesome, two masters of marvelousness, created a comedy sketch called Holmes. It was performed in Los Angeles in a theater. People reacted by saying things like, dude, that was messed up. It caused mass psychogenic illness, meaning people laugh a lot. Holmes is an interpretation of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. Ours is a very different interpretation. It's the story of two men who are not detectives at all. When strange and mysterious things begin happening in their apartment building, Holmes and his roommate Watts, at the insistence of their insane building manager, are asked to investigate. Why would anybody want to kill a Mormon guy? Hmm. Revenge. How do you figure that, Holmes? <laughs> it's written right here on the fourth wall. Oh, so <laughs> what ensues is mystery, debauchery, detectivity. Would Arthur Conan Doyle approve of this grim and gory, drug-fueled interpretation of his stories? Of course he would. That man was a freak, in our opinion. And we love him. And we think that you will too. Please help us make Holmes into a show for your TV, because you deserve something completely different. Everybody's a dreamer And everybody's a star And everybody's in movies It doesn't matter who you are Okay. We both know that some shit went down. Yes. And I'm admitting um, officially, that we did not conduct ourselves well. You didn't conduct yourself well. Yes, there were some bad decisions. You made some bad decisions. Can I just say it in my own words? Fine. I'm admitting fault. What I did was... Horrible, unspeakable. Was it? Okay, yes. Yes. What I did was very, very not perfect. And I wish to, uh, I would like to, uh, I wish to, oh, uh, God, this is hard. You can't even say it. It's hard. Just say it. I wish. <gasps> Did you just murder me in your mind? What? You literally just murdered me in your mind, didn't you? Yeah, I might have beaten you to death with a hammer. So? You can't do that. Why not? Because if you murder someone in the middle of an apology, it cancels out the apology. What are you talking about? It's not like it's the real thing. Murdering someone in your mind is the same as murdering them in real life. It is not the same. Yes, it is. You just did it again, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I don't have to apologize now because I'm dead. You're not dead. How are you gonna forgive me if you keep murdering me? Well, I don't know. You haven't even apologized. Okay. okay. I apologize. Did you just kill me? Yes. I just beheaded you. you just beheaded me during an apology. Yeah, but you killed me, so we're even. We are not fucking even. You exploded my girlfriend. It was an accident. Not the point. You didn't even like her. True. It was kind of convenient. Still, still, still. All right, look, let's just hug it out so that we can move on with our lives. Okay. Maybe in our imagination, in our minds. Yeah, that's bad. better. No more weapons, no more killing, just forgiveness. Wait, I think Melissa should be there too. Okay. To witness. Okay. Your dead ex-girlfriend is there witnessing this awesome event.
I apologize. Apology accepted. Clone yourself. No way. Send your DNA. I'm here. Clone yourself. No way. Send your DNA. I'm here. There are stars in every city, in every house and on every street. And if you want.